Jim Hudson Football Friday on WIS News 10 is sponsored by the Jim Hudson Automotive Group. It's round two of the playoffs. We have two powerhouse programs colliding in Irmo, Dutch Fork, and Dorman. Plus, our game of the week is a top ten showdown between Gray Collegiate and Saluda. Football Friday starts right now. Now we're now. Hello everyone and welcome to Jim Hudson Football Friday Week 12. We have a very light schedule tonight. Most of the games have been moved to Saturday because of the rainy weather, but we still have some good matchups, including our Jim Hudson Game of the Week, number five, Great Collegiate taking on seventh ranked Saluda in the 2A playoffs. <clears throat> this one goes down at Irmo High School, Saluda's first play on offense. Drew Arad hands it off to Ty League Mathis, the ball comes loose and Gray's Carter Stevens comes up with it. Next Tiger possession, all of a sudden it's a safety. War Eagles get on the board up two to nothing. Riley Staten will take the snap, look deep and find Savion Smith with the leaping grab, first down. Now it's first and goal. Blaine Redmond in a QB, handoff to BJ Montgomery, right into the end zone. Gray Collegiate in control, holding on to a nine nothing lead. Saluda back on offense, Aaron firing it deep. And here comes that man, Drayvon Dobson with a monster interception. Returns it for a few yards, War Eagles with the fight in the first half. But don't forget the Tigers, huge fourth down stop by Jaquavius Moore and JT Lott to get the ball back. And here they go, quick toss to Mathis. He takes off and he is going, going gone. Only touch one more time. Big miss tackle and Mathis glides right in for the touchdown. Tigers go for two, they're successful, and they down the reigning state champs 23 to 16. The Dutch Fork Silver Foxes are number one in our Jim Hudson Midlands top 10 and in the statewide five they poll. Tonight, the Foxes took on the Dorman Cavaliers, the state's ninth ranked team in round two of the playoffs. Dutch Fork and Dorman in Class A. Dutch Fork will start the scoring off. Faleem Appler bobbles the snap, keeps it, cuts the edge, and takes it up the sideline for a 6-0 Dutch Fork lead. Dorman will pull within uh, one with this pass from DJ Porter to Raekwon Robinson. Miss extra point, 7-6 there. Jarvis Green will take the direct snap, and he'll fight for a three-yard touchdown. 21 to 6 Dutch Fork. Now the Silver Foxes looking to add more points on the scoreboard. Jarvis Green is going to fake the run and throw a dump pass, but it's picked off by Will White. That's how the first half ends. Third quarter, Dutch Fork takes it down the field. Appler capping off the drive with a 12-yard TD run. 28 to 6. Dorman comes back. QB DJ Porter fighting for every yard. He scores from five yards out. They missed the extra point to make it 18 to 12. Fourth quarter, Jarvis Screen getting the call, breaks a couple of tackles, and he's gone. Dorman thinks they have him stopped, but he comes out of it and scores on a 69 yard TD run. Dutch Fork goes to 11 and 1 with a 35 18 win over Dorman. 4A skis of playoffs, our number 10 team, the Hammond Skyhawks, hosting the Porter Gout Cyclones. On the first drive for the Skyhawks, it's a replay to Aiden Kanzader running along the sideline, making it all the way to the 20 yard line. Two plays later, Dylan Richardson passes to Jason Roberts, who will take it all the way to the scoring zone, putting the Skyhawks up 7 0. The next drive for the Skyhawks, Dylan Richardson will put the Skyhawks up. 14 to nothing. Dylan Richardson, a very busy guy just before halftime. It's Richardson doing it all. Dropping back the pass and airing it out to William Hudson for the touchdown. The Skyhawks, they're moving on. They win this one 45 to nothing. Okay, back to the high school league, 3A. The Crestwood Knights at the Buford Eagles. Crestwood up 28-10 at the beginning of the second half. Now the comeback, Buford Samari Bonds hands off to Casey Fields from about two yards out. Eagles down 28 to 17. And just a few minutes later, same scenario, Fields again. Eagles are back in this game down 28 to four. Still in the third quarter, Bonds is gonna fake the handoff, take it himself, finds a hole, plenty of daylight. 
and Vons is just going to fly away 25 yards. Buford will take the lead and Crestwood goes down by the final of 45 to 42. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for the high school football highlights. Now we've got some hot hoops action on the way, but first a little fan cam action from Dutch Fork High School. 